Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Chef Jappy from Chismis NYC and thank you to Filipino Food Movement for inviting me over. Today I'm going to be your guest chef for Culinary Alive. Brief, um, brief um, uh, description about Chismis. So Chismis NYC is a Filipino-American restaurant. We're situated here at the Lower East Side in Manhattan. We opened last year, June 7. And um, for the pandemic, we had to close down for about 11 weeks. We reopened at May, May 20th for, we pivoted the business for takeout and delivery. Now we have outdoor seating. But the main agenda about Chismis is to actually promote Philippine food and culture, to, um, to enhance interest uh, through the non Pinoys and to for our cuisine to slowly get start getting the recognition that it deserves. Today we're gonna do um, Reggie's Alige pasta. Re Tita Reggie, uh, Tita Reggie Aguinaldo, and Tito Stephen Dia are the proprietors of Cheesemiss NYC here in New York City. They envision to put up a restaurant that will that aims in promoting Philippine food and culture and just bringing the Pinoys together. So they have a um, they have um, a hangout spot where they can enjoy, everyone can enjoy wines and our favorite dishes from the Philippines. So for today, we're doing her signature dish, which is the top selling dish in, in Cheesemiss, by the way. For the, for the seven months that we were open last year, we sold about 1,300 um, dishes of this, plates of this dish. So it means, marami kumakain ng alige pasta. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys for everyone to learn. First of all, before we start cooking, we're gonna start by washing our hands properly with warm water as um, to make sure that the ingredients are not um, compromised. And we should also sanitize constantly. Cleanliness is so important even prior to this pandemic, but even more so now. So with this being said, we're going to slowly start sanitizing here and then okay, we are good to go. And I have a surprise guest with us today, joining us, and I hope um, you guys will like seeing our friend also. This is going to be fresh from the market I picked up this morning. Hello. It's Dungeness crab. It's crab season right now, and this is going to be our barcada for today's um, cooking demo. So I'm just gonna rest him in front. Set up the kain in mamaya. Okay, so hope everyone is ready to start. We're gonna slowly begin. Um, this dish is, um, is very simple to make. Um, you can do it at home. It, um, it doesn't um, require a lot of ingredients. The recipe, I believe, has been shared by Filipino Food Movement already. Let me briefly talk about what we have. So we have angel hair pasta, capellini. We have minced garlic, minced shallot. We have our alige sauce. We have our lemon juice. And we have our lump crab, we have our fried garlic as garnish, and our chopped cilantro, and some sprouts if you want to put it. And espillet powder in the end. And then we have our Dungeness crab here, and then we have our blue crab. And just to show you, this is, um, this is a canned alige, which is um, what we're accustomed to. And this is the alige coming from a crab. But we will go through the explanation later. We'll have a short lecture after, after our live demo. So we're going to start. We have uh, pasta water boiling already, slowly boiling. So we warmed up our pan a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure, um, I'm gonna make sure it's not too hot. So we don't burn our ingredients. And then olive oil is key to this dish. So be generous with the olive oil. We're gonna saute the shallots. 
the garlic. So it's perfect. Just let it um, aromatize. And we're gonna slowly put our pasta in. This is gonna take about two minutes and 20 seconds. So it's 3.05 now. We'll check in a little bit later. And then as you can see, you can slowly start to smell the shallots and the garlic. And our sauce doesn't need to be boiling hot when we start. Add a little water. We add the crab. So very important to be gentle with the crab. Don't break out the don't break up the lump. We saute them. Check on our pasta. And then now we can Raise our sauce a little bit. Add our, we can now add our lemon juice. Give it some acidity and raise the heat. Check our pasta. Let's take a little bit and see if it's already al dente or not. Ask this question. Needs about one more minute. Jeff, you got a question. Yes. What is in the crab butter sauce and how do you get it that smooth? Um, so it's a mixture of cream and um, it's a mixture of cream and alige, the the bottled alige, and then you just add pasta water to it, and then you let it reduce. So if we want it like very creamy, we can always add some more. And here, show you guys, and then later we're gonna talk about talk about the difference from a canned alige to the real one. So you can see here, as Pinoy's, we always love more alligue. You can put a, a little bit more. So I can smell the crab now, the shallot, the garlic slowly coming together. It smells so good. That's amazing. Thank you. And then. Our sauce is slowly incorporating. We can check with our pasta again, see how it is. You need to hear in the comments, wants to order it with Uber Eats already. What? She wants to order the crab. Oh, if you want to order the crab, you just come visit us at Cheesemiss. We're located at 143 Orchard Street. Okay. So now the pasta is, uh, we put a little pasta water in the sauce too. So the pasta is now al dente. Perfect temperature. 
So we're gonna raise the heat a little bit here. And then what we wanna do is cook the pasta with the sauce and let it reduce a little bit. But you want the pasta to get coated. Get coated in the alligator sauce. Kind of let it reduce there. And then we crack some pepper to it. So the technique in cutting the lemon um, to avoid the um, to avoid the seeds is don't cut it like whole to squeeze it. Just cut it from from the horizontal angle and then just don't go all the way in the middle, and you get a nice piece. So see how all the seeds are left in the middle, and then you also go from the opposite end, and you're left with practically a seedless lemon ready for plating. So we will use this one. Technically, you don't really need to add more salt to the dish because it's already quite salty from the, um, from the, um, from the alige sauce. And you can always, um, Add more alige as I would like to, um, as I always tell everyone, and we will go into the, we will go into more detail of why alige is a little bit salty, and what we will go into detail of why alige is a little bit salty. What is the difference from from the jarred alige from getting it from the real crab, and then we will compare um, these items, as um, most uh, mostly everyone assumes that um, this one is the same as this. Not quite so, but we will get into that detail shortly. So now we will go into plating our pasta. I like to put it first in the bowl, so I can, it's easier. This is how we do it for service in the restaurant. And then you can choose to use a meat fork if you want to. Or you can use the thong. Chappie, how many people does this recipe serve? This this recipe is for serve one portion. So, you, but it's a it's a healthy portion. It's a heavy portion, so it can actually feed two. I've seen a lot of diners share this at Cheeseness, and it's good enough for it's good enough for two. Another question you get, yes. can you use a different type of pasta for this recipe? Yes, you can use any type of pasta you want. It's just us, we prefer to use angel hair because we like the thin pasta and we feel that it absorbs the crab flavor really well. But um, I've seen people serve this with, um, with linguine, which is also my second favorite. If I weren't using um, capellini, I would be using linguine here. So we have our pasta here. shallots were pinoy so we always eat a lot of garlic and then we just kind of like spread the lump crab everywhere oh everything smells so good i'm getting hungry now Another question, what is a good substitute for the cream if you can't handle cream? 
Well, so if you can't handle cream, um, a lot of people just use directly the pasta water. A lot of people also, obviously when you're not using cream, so it's, it's going to be a little bit thinner. So you have to use more of the aligue, which is not a bad thing. Um, you can also just use olive oil, saute it with garlic, shallots, olive oil, and um, add a lot of the aligue, and then just, um, just um, let it reduce with the pasta water. I think that would be the best substitute for it. What is the brand of your spatula? The brand of my spatula? Okay, so like, uh, All around questions. Yeah, this actually uh, came from my culinary set, uh, from culinary school. So it's, um, it's from the Philippines. Um, you have to go to Enderon to find it. Uh, there's no brand in it, unfortunately. I think the school actually makes it. So it's it's Pinoy brand. <laughs> so we're gonna gar obviously because we're Pinoy, so we're gonna garnish it with more um, with more garlic chips. Everybody's really hungry on Facebook Live here. So a lot of garlic <laughs> chips, a healthy serving, and then chopped cilantro. Wow, I'm getting so hungry now. And your lemon. You can add a little sprouts or garnish if you want to. Give volume to the dish. And we are good to go. This is Tita Reggie's Alike Pasta from Cheesemiss NYC. I'm Chef Jabby from Cheesemiss NYC. I hope you learned a lot today and, and you enjoyed uh, cooking with me. But we're not done yet. We're going now to our um, we're going to our history segment part so before we actually eat this um, I'm going to explain uh, something about Alige first wait we have questions to answer now uh, well we have uh, Kisa here saying okay. that uh, she's really jealous that your quarantine bodies get to eat with you and she's asking if she can be a friend of course, um, Kisa, you can be my friend, but I actually have one of my quarantine buddies with me here who's been helping me out, and her name is Sasha. She's a good friend of mine. She's yeah. Russian, but she loves Filipino food. Very she's much so. she's stuck with me for uh, three months, so she's been eating lumpia and all sorts of other Pinoy you know, goodies. And she's a big fan of um, Reggie's Alige Pasta. But Sasha, please come and join me here, and then we're going to uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, an explanation first. So first of all, I want to um, I want to say um, I want to teach that um, there's always been a misconception of what um, Alige is. So a lot of people assume that. We're opening a crab here, so when we open the back of the, the blue crab, you see the, the roll coming out of here and the butter. This is not, this is, these are parts of alige, yes, but this doesn't mean that this is the alige. Number one, you should never discard this goodies because this is what uh, makes the alige. So let me give you a little bit of a lecture first. So there, uh, in the Philippines, the most common um, the most common crabs are number one talangka. The name is talangka in Tagalog. They are actually river crabs, and then number two is alimano, which is the mud crab, and then number three alimasag, which is called the swimming crab. But the alige is not necessarily made directly only from this. So it, it doesn't mean like they open the um, they open the talangka and then they scoop out the fat and the roe. Also, just to let you know, only the females have um, roe. So you can see by the apron of the crab, it's a female here. Um, uh, a male would have a very narrow apron. I think everything is female here. So <laughs> yes, 
Chopper, you're the only boy here. I'm the only boy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is Alig how is Aligir named as we know it? The bottled and preserved, uh, preserved delicacy that we all enjoy. So it's basically made from baby talangka. They harvest this. They open it up. They remove the roe. They remove the butter. And actually, the, the only thing they keep out is called the dead man's gills or the lungs, which is this. And you, so you just peel this off. You just peel the side off and remove it. So that is not part of the process of making alige. And also the front part, the face, which you can just kind of snap off. So with, with this, um, with this um, procedure of cleaning the talanka, it's then salted, fermented, and pressed, including the roll, the butter. So in, in retrospect, you would actually think, uh, you would actually can compare it to bagoong, the shrimp paste. So bagoong is a fermented shrimp paste from, from salted, fermented, and pressed baby shrimp. So alige in retrospect is kind of the counterpart to it. It just so happens that the crab or the talaka has so much, so much roe and crab butter inside the fat that it makes it very, um, it makes it very, um, very fatty and it's so high in umami. So that basically that's the difference. And today I think we're gonna teach um, Sasha how to open a crab because she wants to learn. She's, she was vegetarian when we first met and now she's converted to pescatarian. So she asked me today when we woke up, like, Chef, can you teach me how to open a crab? I'm like, wait a minute, Sasha. Today we have a crab demo. So why don't we do it on the crab demo? <laughs> so let's do it. Let's right move. Here to this. Okay, let's move the alligator here for a second. And then we'll give Sasha her crab, and then I will take one as well. So let's start by this. This part is called the apron. Let's open it. Okay. There, open it, and then pull it back, and then snap it. Perfect. You can already already see the alligator coming out from the other side. So now you you see this pocket here, you flip it. And the other way, face front forward. You see this pocket below the back? Mm -hmm. You put your thumb there. Put, and then you see the spore here? You put your other hand and then you just pull. Oh, wow. And there That's you amazing. go. It's so easy. Then we have the alige and very important, look at the butter there. So you never discard this. You keep it and so you clean this now because you want to eat this. You scrape it off. And we do this part also. You don't want to include. Yours was juicy. It was very juicy. <laughs> but don't worry, you're going to be eating it. I know. Okay. So we put the shells here. And then now we're removing the dead man's gills or the lungs. So this part here, you just, you just uh, peel it off like you're peeling a layer of, of grapefruit. Slowly and gently. Because the meat comes out like this if we don't um, if we don't uh, damage it. Okay. So now that we we've, we've removed the part, we can. There's still more juice here. You see how creamy this is? Oh my God, that's so good. So now we're gonna remove the the front part or the face. We you can just pull it back. We can just peel it. This? Yeah. And then 
we normally use a mullet or a, or a, or the crab um, cutter, but we don't have any, so we're using our knife. And we're going to slowly break into it, cut it in half. And then we remove the, the claws. And from here, we just slowly break it apart. And then you will get all the goodies from the inside. So much alige here, my god. You can now slowly start to see the meat. So make sure you keep all the alige in and we're ready to start enjoying the crab. This is Chef Jappy from Cheeks Miss NYC and I want to say um, thank you very much to everyone who's watched um, our segment of Culinary Alive today and thank you to um, everyone who supported um, Cheeks Miss NYC. We're, once again, we're located at um, Lower East Side of New York City in Manhattan. Our address is 143 Orchard Street. We're open uh, for outdoor dining Thursdays to Sundays, Thursday and Friday, 4 to 8, Saturday 12 to 8, Sunday 12 to 6. And our Instagram handle is CheesemissNYC. Please come and visit us anytime. Try, try your alige pasta and all the other items on the menu. We have chilots. We have San Miguel, of course, Red Horse, all the other favorite Pinoy items. And I have a lot of um, other Filipino chef friends here in New York City also who has restaurants. So please visit them. There's um, Chef Aris Tuason of Ugly Kitchen, Chef Aji of Cabecera, Chef Anton of uh, Tradition. We're all friends. We all support each other. And it's time that... Um, we try to push Philippine cuisine forward and as a community we can do this together. We can we can get over this pandemic and we can move forward as entrepreneurs and as Filipinos. So Marami Salama sa Latama Kababayan and most importantly thank you to Filipino Food Movement. It's a nonprofit organization based out in Oakland. Please follow them. Their handle is Filipino Food Movement. Their Facebook page has the same handle. They put this together for us, invited me over. I'm very thankful. And so happy to collaborate with um, other Pinoy businesses as well. And this is it for us. It's, I guess it's our time to eat now. So, maraming salamat and we'll see you again soon. Ciao.